This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm talking about. This is our train. The the beauty, the beauty that is. Look at that. I mean, all, what is that, six carriages of glory? It's fantastic. Anyway, uh, we are on our way to Vladivostok, and, uh, and, and we're doing so in this absolutely gorgeous train. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're having a look at Last Train Home. A uh, little bit of a difficult one to categorize. Let's jump into things and I'll show you what the heck is going on. Uh, it's definitely a management game. It's definitely a base builder, uh, but it's got a bunch of other sort of elements thrown into it as well. Uh, it's kind of like if Frostpunk was sort of set on a train. I know that sounds a little bit crazy to say. Uh, however, you'll soon get a pretty good idea of uh, of what I mean. Right, I'm going to skip through this uh, this little preamble. Basically, the premise is actually quite interesting. So we are playing as a Czechoslovakian, uh, or commander of a Czechoslovakian soldier unit that is trapped behind uh, enemy lines, basically, as the, uh, as the, as the start of the... Uh, revolution in Russia uh, just after the uh, First World War is beginning. So basically, these uh, these troops need to try and maintain neutrality as much as possible, and um, and that's basically what we are charged with doing. Now, uh, there is a sort of like brief tutorial level uh, where we don't actually really do altogether too much, so we should be able to just move through. Uh, but yeah, so basically. This is our train. Uh, we will get to ride it to the uh, to the next location. In fact, we're going to be riding it an awful lot over the course of uh, over the course of this game. And in fact, we're going to be taking a whole bunch of uh, resources onto the train. We're going to be upgrading it. Uh, but in between, uh, we control uh, or we have responsibility for this group of soldiers. We need to pick up some food here. Um, we can basically interact with. There we go. You go pick up this food. Excellent. Pick up the food, happy days, proceed to the next point, and let's let's sort of press on. There's no point in uh, there's no point in delaying this. This is just sort of a, a, a basic introductory level. Um, I would encourage you to check out uh, to check out the page, wishlist the game if indeed you're interested in this style of uh, of game. As I say, uh, this sort of tactical element is only part of it. There is a base building element which we are going to uh, which we are going to see very shortly indeed. Right, let's open the gates and let's see what the heck is happening. Nothing too major or controversial happening at the moment. However, we are going to get a little interaction with one of the villagers uh, who has been left alone. We wanted to buy supplies from your mill, but found burning who did this. A uh, couple of things to note here. There is voiceovers, apparently, in, like, loads of languages, uh, which is really, really cool. So you can actually select to have uh, the languages... Uh, the languages in you know their native their native tongue, uh, or you can have all of the, the 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 words translated into a language of your choosing, uh, which I think is uh, is is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, this this villager is you know not happy with us, but to be fair, it's uh, it's not us that have caused all of this destruction. It is indeed the uh, the, the the Reds. Um, and that is slightly problematic because we need to make sure that we are constantly keeping our wits about us um, and not causing a diplomatic incident for uh, for a brand new Czechoslovakian country. Okay. Right. Find a good find a good spot. Have a little look at the top of the world up here. Uh, let's have a little look. Send someone to scout that's got binoculars. We'll send you. Send you over here. Okay. It's the Reds who killed the Miller's family and burned everything. They deserve to die. Uh, I don't think so. Indeed. Major, this major is, uh, he's got a, he's got his head screwed on right. And we have a long way ahead of us. Yeah, so basically we are traveling across the entirety of Russia uh, in a, in a train. Uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, we need to basically go to Vladivostok and take a ship from Vladivostok because there is uh, there are soldiers between us and you know what would be Czechoslovakian uh, territory. So that's what we need to do. Anyway, uh, after the mission, we will evac to the train. Um, we should get ourselves a 
little mission on the way over there to shoot some scarecrows. But it should be fine. Easy. Easy. We'll take out the scarecrows. Don't you worry about it. Right. So, yeah, we got a couple of different uh, sort of units here. We got a scout, we got a rifleman, we got a machine gunner, we got a medic as well. Uh, all, you know, useful for different things. We will, uh, we will experiment with what they're useful for as we go. Right. Uh, you can also see, by the way, that there are a couple of other uh, fellow soldiers that are sort of guarding the train, which is kind of cool. Squad members in the exit area, brilliant. Let us leave. Fantastic. Okay, um, and so that's like a little mission. That is a little stop. We can have a little scroll through here, have a little look at the uh, objectives. Each and every objective that we complete gives us a bunch of XP, uh, and we can see what resources we have managed to loot. 20 food. I mean, nothing nothing crazy, but it's uh, but it's pretty darned decent. Right. As you and the others board the train empty-handed, uh, a discussion ensues about the recent events. Some feel enraged, some uneasy. You're lost in thought about the experience of being in command. Major G Gazdick uh, grabs you by the shoulder, snapping you out of it. Indeed. I'm not going to read through all of this uh, because I really want to get to the sort of real management aspect, I guess the heart of this game. Uh, but it's just to sort of highlight that there will be a, like decision... There will be decisions that influence both, you know, you and the crew. Um, for example, we have to be neutral. We are soldiers and we need to follow orders. Think about the consequences if we caught them red-handed as they kill civilians. Uh, we have to, we have to be neutral. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and split the uh, split the difference on that one. Okay. Shall we proceed to Moscow then, as planned, or are we expecting trouble? We'll go to Moscow to pick up my future advisor, Captain Lager. Langer. He is currently working to negotiate our safe passage to Vladivostok. Let's hope the negotiations will bear fruit. Indeed. So, yeah, I mean, we are an armed, we're an armed legionary in hostile territory with no allegiance to either side of the conflict that we are now a part of. So, uh, this, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm talking about. This is our train. The, the beauty, the beauty that is. Look at that. I mean, all, what is that, six carriages of glory. It's fantastic. Anyway, uh, we are on our way to Vladivostok, and, uh, and and we're doing so in this absolutely gorgeous train. All of our resources are up at the top here. Uh, we can sort of, like, click and have a more granular view of exactly what's going on in, you know, the hospital car, for example, or the inventory car. Uh, or we can have a look at the other inventory car, or we can have a look at the storage car. We can have a look at our storage capacity. We can have a look at our artillery car, uh, and we can have a little look at the, uh, at the locomotive as well, the locomotive strength, locomotive capacity, and then, of course, all of our resources up at the top here. Uh, we have got uh, we have got the ability to go faster. We've got the ability to stop the train. Uh, we have got the soldier overview. We've got soldier details. We can we can get very very granular. In fact, with the specific details of uh, individual uh, soldiers. Uh, and I've chatted for such a long time that we've actually arrived at the next stop. A fateful encounter. The train stops several dozens of meter, meters before the station. There's another train blocking your path. As you and the other exit the train, you're greeted with grave silence and a few rifles aimed in your direction. From the station towards you, a tall red army officer is walking, accompanied by two soldiers. Okay, who's in command of your unit? It me. I'm in command of the train. To what do I owe the pleasure, General? A mere coincidence. I was visiting my family nearby. Our encounter is most, most fortunate, as I have a position, uh, one of mutual interest, a proposition even. Uh, what do you want? Um, indeed, that's how it should be, because in my power to ensure you say passed through Russia, that is what you want, is it not? All you need to do is hand over your weapons. Give up our weapons? To you? I don't think so. You'd probably use them to shoot us and then burn the entire station to the ground. Haha. <laughs> Indeed. You're not the first legionaries to pass through here. Your countrymen handed over their weapons without incident. For your soldier's sake, do as I ask, or you'll regret it. Uh, not a chance, Buster. Uh, get out of here. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, uh, when we arrive at a when we arrive at a stop, there's a few things to consider. Uh, we can deploy a squad, and that's absolutely what we are going to do. Uh, we can select exactly who we want to have on this specific squad. I mean, we have five people to deploy. Uh, I am going to do that. Um, we only have five available soldiers, so 
that's what we're going to deploy. Um, there is a cost to deploying the uh, the soldiers, but honestly, an energy cost that is, um, or a squad stamina, should I say? But that's fine. Difficulty is nothing. There's a whole bunch of potential rewards here: fuel, cloth, food, etc. Let's get deployed and um, and let's go and have a look. So yeah, obviously there is a resource management aspect to the way that this game operates, but there is also clearly like a diplomatic uh, aspect as well. I'm not entirely sure how present that is going to be in the uh, the final version of the game, but yeah. definitely for now, it does seem important that you don't sort of upset the apple cart too, too much. You don't want to upset the Bolsheviks. You don't want to upset the white army. You know, you want to stick very, very much, very, very, very much uh, to everyone. What the heck? You're a Legion soldier as well. Okay, I don't know where you came from. Uh, but... Okay. I'll heal, uh, I'll heal up the, uh, the civilian with my medical abilities from this soldier that just came out of the, came out of the house. That's quite handy, I gotta be honest. Don't need that, thanks. I will say, I really like the way that the tutorial is handled in this game. It's very sympathetic. Okay. The Red Army came for recruits and provisions. We told them to leave, but they just laughed and took whatever they wanted. They killed everyone who resisted. We saw trucks full of artillery shells driving towards the river. My sister lives there. I'm worried sick. Please help. We came here to trade for supplies, not to get involved in Russian affairs. Indeed. Indeed. We can't risk the train, so we have to go and find out what's going on. That's a strange justification, but uh, honestly, that's fine. Looks like they sabotaged the bridge. We'll have to fix it. You can find tools and materials in a nearby camp right over there. Okay, uh, we'll do it. We'll see if we can try and we can try and fix the bridge. So what do we got here? We've got some missions up on the uh, left-hand side over here. Acquire the repair kit. Uh, legionaries escorted to the escort area. One. Okay, uh, I presume that means you, basically, the, the, the healer. Uh, let's go and... Let's go and get the... Let's go and get the repairs sorted in the first instance. I don't think we're going to encounter any resistance. However... Okay, get, uh... Get up here. There you go. Go on him. Go on him. Nice. Okay, attack. Beautiful. Excellent. Well done. Our machine gunner did take a little bit of a hit, but that's fine. Oh, no. Okay. I don't want to... Not handled with... Uh, not handled with excellence, although I must say... I'm not actually sure that it would have made much of a difference. Uh, we did take a little bit of a hit on our machine gunner, but to be fair, a little bit of an awkward place to... A uh, little bit of an awkward place to fight, um, because we were fighting uphill, and, you know, as... As Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, once said, um, I have the... I have the high ground. If we don't have the ranger grenades, we're going to have to storm their position. I think we do have grenades, though. Select the rifleman and the bayonet charge. Uh, I mean, that sounds absolutely awful, to be honest. But I do have a grenade. I do have a grenade, right? Throw a grenade. Get back. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Great performance there, everyone. So we don't need to do a bayonet charge. That's uh, that's not something we need to do. Our rifleman has, has you know, has been spared for another, another encounter. This place is crawling with reds. We should consider remaining undetected for as long as possible. Okay. Okay, uh, we can do that. We can go into silent mode. That's fine. Everybody's in silent mode, which I'm almost certainly going to forget to turn off at some point. Right. Do we see anyone? So there's definitely, like, somebody down here. Oh, 
Okay. This looks cool. This looks very, very cool. <laughs> He's just completely oblivious. <laughs> Brilliant. Completely oblivious. Okay. Heal wounded soldier. Right. What about a what about a grenader? We do a grenade over here. I don't want to destroy. I don't want to destroy anything, but. Nice. Good stuff. Okay. Tactical view. You can check important info and plan next steps. Cool. That's pausing. Uh, pausing the game. I don't think I need tactical view because I um, clearly was too tactical in the first place. I'm going to remove everybody from silent mode, though. Right. Let's get the repair kit. Uh, and let's heal the wounded soldier. Sure. Excellent. Can we do that with multiple? Oh, okay. We can only use it once. That's fine. Right. Use the repair kit to mend the bridge. Okay. Let's uh, let's get the medic to do that. What's up with you, by the way? You've got uh, you've got something. Yeah, you're on 15. You got you're missing 15 health, but that's fine. Okay. If there's a watchtower around, we should capture it to grab a better view. Uh, okay. I mean, we can do that. Where is the watchtower? All the way up here. Right. Do we have a scout? We do indeed. How about you get up here? What about everybody gets up here? If we're capturing, everybody needs to be in the vicinity. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I guess it doesn't really matter, but that is our flag that is being raised there, which is excellent. Okay. Those must be the trucks used to transport the artillery shells. We must stop them. As I say, a well, a well placed grenade goes a long way. Okay. Oh, hold on. We've got a we got a grenadier who's literally right outside. Okay. Uh, run away. Yeah, maybe <laughs> just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Beautiful. That bridge looks perfect for ambush. We should not proceed until we uh, figure out what could await us on the other side. Okay. Cool. Good to note. Does anyone have binoculars? Yes, the scout has binoculars. So, uh, we can do a recon over at this side. Let's have a little look. Okay, I don't know how close you have to get, but... Uh, oh, actually quite far away. Oh my giddy aunt. look at that. They know we're here. They'll be coming for us. Let's set up the machine gun and give them hell. Love to see it. Okay, deploy the machine gun before they arrive. Move the machine gunner here and set up. Do we have a machine gunner nearby? No. Okay. Get over here, get over here. In fact, get the whole squad over here. No, 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 I didn't mean... Uh, take, the, take that, Dan. Come on. Come on, get over here. You need to be in the zone before, before focus firing. Right, let's get everybody across. Okay, so... There we go. Get everybody into position. Okay, and get something set up here. Okay. I think we're ready. Let's go for a grenade. Maybe right in there. Beautiful. Retreat a little bit. F fantastic. We didn't even need the grenade. That machine gun was going absolutely bananas. That is fantastic. Call in an artillery strike and make those bastards pay for their crime. Very, very cool. Okay, love to see it. Use artillery strike against large groups. That is nice. Uh, right, artillery strike. 
is ready. We're ready for it. Now, this is an artillery strike from the train, I believe. Um, yeah, nice. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, it's not even... Let's... That's not even fair. That's not even fair. Okay. Excellent. Uh, bring your units to designated point. Let's... There we go. Let's move everybody across. Let's go and get the cloth. What is that? Cloth and... Oh, there's a few things. Right, you go get that. You go get that. You go get that. Nice. Cloth, coal, ammo, anything else? Food. Anything else? Don't think so. I think that's it. Nice. Okay. So ammo is the only thing that we have left to find. There we go. Gather everybody together. See if we can try and head out. Okay. Right up to the objective at the end here, please. That looks like ammo. And then the exit area is, of course, as you would anticipate, on the railway. There we go. Who's going to go and pick up the ammo? It's going to be the machine gunner. Cool. Get everybody inside the uh, the exit zone. Okay. And uh, apparently those guys just want to disappear. That's fine. We can leave. Holy cow. Uh, what a mission. What a flipping mission that was. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, that was so good. We get to assign some medals as well. I think the, the machine gunner, who has a broken appendage of some sort, uh, definitely needs a medal. That is honestly good on you. Uh, the grenadier was unbelievably useful. Uh, you were really, really useful. Do we want to... Uh, this guy was pretty useful. I feel like the rifleman was a little bit more useful. So yeah, I think I think those three medals uh, to those three individuals, that's a pretty good... Uh, that's a pretty fair you know, representative situation of what went down. Uh, loads and loads of XP. I think we completed all of our missions, all of our side missions. Uh, we got a whole bunch of resources. We got a whole bunch of everything. Oh, fantastic. The soldiers discussed the concentration uh, with uh, Morozov at the station, as well as the violence the Reds enacted against unarmed villagers. Uh, most, though not all, feel that the artillery strike on the Reds' encampment was justified. It probably was. I think the Reds were expecting us. Setting a trap, perhaps. What I don't understand is why. And why now? Isn't Captain Langer conducting negotiations in Moscow? He is, but we don't know the outcome. Indeed. Storm on the horizon. Go to Moscow and meet with Langer, who will serve as an advisor. New, le new legionaries have joined you. I think these were the legionaries that, um, that ran off into the... There we go. Uh, that ran off into the, uh, the edge of the map, which is, uh, is kind of cool. All right. All right, we now have another objective. Uh, how far away? How far away are we? Moscow is like all the way up here. Holy cow, Moscow is like, Moscow is far. Moscow is far. Healing in the train. Yeah, let's have a look. Can we? Do we need to? Uh... Excellent. Thank you. I'm glad that you were promoted. Uh, excellent. Level up. Level up. Uh, this is a little choppy here. I must say. Maybe that's just. Maybe that's just me. Uh, can I, can I send you, can I send you into the, into the medical car? Oop. There we go. Assign patients to the hospital car. Fantastic. Get you in there. I don't think that there's anybody else that needs to go in there at the moment. But that's fine. Let's zoom out. Yeah, so we can actually see on the track what resources it's going to take in order for us to get where we need to go. Soldiers' injuries can be treated both in the mission and on the train to keep them healthy. Indeed. Right. Let's go into multiple times speed. Soldiers can usually have two roles. Okay. Being called into the office of Major Gazdik. We've got some, but not nearly enough. We've got a long way to go. Yes, Major, I'll send the squad. Okay. Shopping trip.
Okay, so we need to stop, right? Send a squad, buy some resources, mostly food. Okay, we can click on here, select squad. Uh, let's deploy this squad. This is the this is the best squad. We'll get them to diddle around into here. Continue. What brings you here in these trying times? We've came to we're, we've come to we've come to trade. Okay, tell us more about the Reds or uh, or leave. Look, we got. We've got the ability to trade, whether or not we actually have anything. Do they have anything that we want? I mean, fuel is kind of nice. Sure. Fuel, cloth, some herbs. Uh, maybe like 40 herbs or something. I mean, I have no idea what we actually, what we actually need, but there we go. Happy days. Let's um yeah, let's uh let's head home. I think that's I think that's everything that we could possibly possibly need. Okay. Resume the journey. We will make uh we'll make some more progress towards Moscow. Uh which is inevitably, by the way, a disaster that is waiting to happen. Engine malfunction, okay. Okay, ordered you to send a food to uh, to forage. Okay, I see. We've got some. We've got some uh, some places up here. We'll select a squad there. Deploy that over there. Can we select another squad? I think I would like to select another squad. It's going to be a slightly smaller squad, and it's going to be the new uh, the new squad. But honestly, I think that will be just fine. Okay, we need to have a look. Oh yeah, resolve this. Expected duration, repairs, what's it gonna take? Metals, how much how much do we have in the metal department? I have absolutely no idea. Gunpowder, cloth, metal. Oh, this is metal. Oh, we got 300. We should be absolutely fine. Right, assign workers. Do we have any workers that uh, are able to do it? Uh, you're stoking at the moment, and yeah, that's fine. That's fine, right? Yeah. It's in progress. It says that it's going to take two minutes, but are we are we in the night shift now? Oh yeah, we might be in the night shift. Let's assign here, assign here. Yeah, there we go. Get to get to work. Get to work on that. Right. I think. I think we should be okay. Let's let's see if that uh, let's see if that ends up working out. Now, let's have a little zoom out and we'll have a little look at what's going on in the forest. We'll do a little foraging here. Excellent. A little quest. We gathered some berries. Max Maximilian Dramp has trait hunter. Caught some game. Excellent. Some herbs and we have a twisted ankle. Fantastic. But we get some XP as well, which is quite nice. Uh, yep, I'm quite happy just to recall you. Got some ranks as well. Nice. What's going on? Still, still nothing of interest there. That's fine. Uh, have you arrived here? We'll fish. Excellent. Do some fishing. Good stuff. Worker missing in the locomotive. Do we need to get? Oh, we don't need to get any more. Um, we don't need to get any more workers. We can leave this as is. You're resting during the night. I mean, I do want to have somebody that is working. I know that this may be reusing some uh, some people's energies, but that's fine. I'm going to set resume. We've got two idle soldiers, two promoted soldiers. We can actually move the train forward a little bit. And then we can just get the second squad to regroup on the train once we are once we're done. I'm just gonna snooze for a bit. Yeah, I mean I understand. I messed with the I messed with the feng shui. Okay. Right. Time pause. Let's have a little look. Report ready. Uh, yep. We want to recall the squad. That's fine. Or viewpoint of interest. Whatever. Did we get anything? We must have gotten something. I didn't have a little I didn't have a little pop-up. 
Hold on, stop the train. Let you get back. Beautiful. And let's get the train. Get the train going. Oh, did I not did I not do the lake uh encounter? Okay, whatever. That's fine. Right. The train is just getting into Moscow, which is good. Uh which is, I mean, quite obviously a trap. There is absolutely 0% chance that this is a, a good situation for us, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it nonetheless. Okay. Uh, recommended squad size of eight. How about I disband this squad? Yep. And I edit this squad and I just add everybody into it. Beautiful. And then we'll deploy you. I can only imagine that this is going to be a firefight. You have to imagine that it will be. You have to imagine that it's a trap. You have to imagine that it's going to be a, uh, a violent trap. Oh, no. What a jerk. Uh oh. No. I liked him. Oh no. A heinous crime. What a shame. He must have a way to get us to Vladivostok. Well, th this train is not looking super hot, I gotta be honest. Okay, let's move. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Chase his armored truck. Okay, silent mode. Go and destroy him. Go get the rifle ammo. Okay, grenades. Nice. Go queue up over there. Queue up is the wrong phrase. That's fine. Go, 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 go. What's this? Cloth here. Okay, move up. Get cloth. Move forward. Okay, we got a lot of cloth here on this uh, on this here individual. Retreat a little bit. Keep shooting. I do like the idea of using grenades. They are great value. And we can do them from behind cover. Strategic grenade goes a long way to eliminating a lot of our casualties. Let's remove the silent mode from you as well. Move up. Okay, keep going. Where's this truck? Let's get some more cloth whilst we're here. Why the heck not? No, we take him, we take him out, we take him out. He's been stationed in Moscow for a while, must know some way to get us out of here. Now we gotta take him out, revenge. Okay, chase the armor truck, meet with Langer. Where are you? 
guy over here. Nice. Okay. Can we go in this way? We could go around the back. Nice. This seems to be the this seems to be the way to go. Come here to talk. Let's do it. The red spreading their one truth in the name of unity. There will be a civil war. Good. I knew there'd be another train. Thank goodness. Go, 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 go. It doesn't have artillery, though. Nice. Okay, so it's going to be two units that are going to be moving forward, which is kind of cool. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, uh, what is this here? Okay, he's trying to get to the bell, I guess. Uh oh. Not exactly ideal. Enemy sounded the alarm. Uh, that's problematic. We're also, like, very surrounded here. Give me the grenadier. Okay, good. Move out, move out, move out. We can't afford to... We can't afford to wait. We gotta hustle. Okay, this way maybe? We do have the ability to recon. Grenade? Okay, we don't even need a grenade. Watch out. Okay. We're close. We're close. It's literally just up here. Okay, hold on. Let me have a look. Recon, recon in this spot. Okay. Okay. Get me, get me a grenade. Right over here. Right over there. Beautiful. Fantastic. Go and gather some fuel. Okay, we have taken a lot of hits. Captain Langer's here. Get out, get out of here, get out of here. Everybody on the train. Everybody on the train. Capture, capture, capture. Good stuff. All aboard. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Where's the exit area? Where's the exit area? Oh, my giddy ant. Okay. Go into focus mode. Good. Turn around. Grenade. Okay, we have no cover at all, but we'll do what we can. Somebody's stressed. I'm really sorry that you're stressed. Who are you? You're stressed over here. Uh, let's see if we can try and heal you. There we go. Get you healed. There we go. Get another grenade right over there. Okay, somebody died. I'm afraid that is the uh, that's the cost of war and the... Cost of my horrific leadership here. Unfocus. Uh, right, get fuel for the train. Oh, we need more fuel. We have to get more fuel for the train. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, 
Quickly, get back, get back, get back. Grenade. There you go. Throw a grenade. Get in here. I know you're scared. I know you're scared. There's nothing we can do. Get around the corner. Nice. Okay, get fuel for the train. We're still getting fuel. Holy cow. Where the heck is this fuel? We need way more fuel. Uh, it must be at the other side somewhere. Rifle ammo over there. Oh, goodness gracious me. Right. Let's get you onto that turret over there. You and you can rejoin the group. Get everybody over here. The medic is going down. Can we medic the, the medic? There we go. Get you over there. See if you can medic the medic. There we go. Get you healed up. Okay. Move over here. See if we can try and get some more fuel. We need 40 more fuel. Anything else? Yeah, okay. So, fuel. Metal, fuel. Let's get you to go and get fuel. And then everybody else... Everybody else can just go back and fight here. Take up positions over there. Yeah, defensive positions. Nice. Okay, the machine gunner is doing a grand job. Excellent. Keep firing, keep fighting. Let's have a little look-see. What else have we got? There's metal over there. Bayonet charge. Let's do it. Nice. Get you around here. Anything anything fuel related around here? God, where the heck is this fuel? Explosive grenades? I mean, that's good and all, but... I need fuel. Okay, we gotta go across the other side here. Let's go. There is that turret over there, but that's not something that I'm willing to reman at this point. Okay. Fuel. Here, go. You set up over there. Grenades. There you go. Excellent. Okay. One more thing of fuel. It's there. Oh, my giddy ant. Okay, another grenade? I know everybody is stressed. Just get in the- get in the go zone. Get in the go zone. Get in the go zone. We have to go. We have to have to go. Okay. Bayonet charge as well. Good. Get back. Medic. Heal up the person that's dying on the ground here. Hold on. Is that you? Yeah. We'll get you up. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get you up. Where is everybody? Where's our, where's our other? Oh, we got another? Okay, medic. Go, go res this person. I think we have to leave. I'm sorry, we're... I think we have to leave you. Just leave. Just get out of here. Get out of here before we, before we die. <laughs> Victory is a very strong way of putting that. Um, honestly, everybody kind of deserves a medal. That was a good, that was a good run. Um... It was a good run in terms of the fact that we accomplished the, the outcomes. It was a bad run in terms of just about everything else. Anyway, that's what happens. Um, they will be remembered. Indeed, we left behind 
rather a few people. What should we do? Hold a vigil, drink in their name, hold remembrance feast. Uh, we have no food. We'll hold a vigil. And everybody's stamina is, of course, affected. Okay. Religious gained. Excellent. We did it. We survived Moscow. Can you believe it? Honestly, I actually can't. Cool. Reach Vladivostok by train and board a ship for the journey home. Cool. Very, very cool. Uh, so, I think that is going to be the end of this build uh, as it stands. Uh, what, what, uh, what a flipping, what a, what a fantastic, like, premise for a game, eh? I'm sure you will agree, ladies and gents. Oh my goodness, it actually continues. Uh, well, we're not going to be playing any further, but I think you will agree. Uh, what a fantastic premise for a game. Uh, this is, like, supremely interesting. I am unbelievably interested to see how this ends up. Um, I'm interested to see how our train is able to... Uh, make it all the way through. Look at, look at this. Look at all of the options that are available to us uh, on our trip all the way over to, to Vladivostok. I mean, this isn't even like, this is a tiny little bit of it. This is a tiny, tiny, tiny. This is, our objective is to, to reach the city of Penza in one piece, uh, which honestly, I think is probably easier said than done. Uh, yeah, it's Frostpunk, but it's on rails. I'm, I'm so here for it. I can't wait to see more. Uh, but that's where we're going to leave it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obita Potato. Uh, check the game out. Wishlist it. It's linked down in the description. But for now and from me, I'll see you next time. Bye.